preliminary treatment that is well accepted uh, for infertile couples uh, that are younger uh, would involve uh, treatment with infer fertility enhancing drugs like Clomid, which is very simple, or a little more complex with injections that are called gonadotropins, which is uh, more complex. These fertility enhancing drugs cause your ovaries to develop their eggs in a better fashion so that you ovulate and have eggs more likely to be chromosomally normal so that they can result in a viable pregnancy. But it can be expensive and there's a limit to their success. So normally more than three, if you don't get pregnant within the first three cycles, say of taking Clomid, this is the simple pill that enhances ovulation, you're not likely to get pregnant after that. And so to be on Clomid for two or three years is, doesn't make any sense. It, it actually has an anti-fertility effect as well. Clomid improves your eggs, but actually has a negative effect on your uterine lining and your cervical mucus, so that it has opposite effects. And if you don't get pregnant right away, it's probably not a good idea to be on it for more than three months. It can also create ovarian cysts, so it, so it has complications. Um, then the next step would be to go to gonadotropins, which are these injectable fertility drugs. The only problem with gonadotropins is that it has to be administered in a low dose if it's going to be safe. It can be very dangerous if your ovaries are overstimulated. You could wind up with quintuplets or sextuplets or all of these headline things you hear about. And let's be very clear, um, multiple pregnancies like that are extraordinarily dangerous, uh, both for the mother and the offspring, and no reputable physician would want to ever see you have a multiple pregnancy like that. So they will give you a very low dose of the gonadotropin to make sure you don't have too many eggs developed. They wouldn't want you to have more than two or three eggs developed because it would be dangerous to have a, a high order multiple pregnancy with more than twins or triplets. So that limits the effectiveness of giving these drugs that otherwise are extremely helpful in counteracting that negative effect of your age, that biological clock that makes your eggs not as good now as they were, say, five years ago. So that limits the effectiveness, the dose. So, I don't know, what, do, what, what would I suggest? I suggest that if you're not going to get pregnant after three cycles of gonadotropin, whether you have your husband's sperm inseminated or whether with just timed intercourse, then it's probably better for you to go ahead to IVF, to go ahead with the treatment that really is going to be the most effective and give you the highest pregnancy rate. For example, for women in their uh, 20s and early 30s, although gonadotropin, even with IUI or insemination, would have a pregnancy rate of somewhere between 8 and 10 percent, IVF should have a pregnancy rate of 50 percent or more. So you have over five times the pregnancy rate per treatment cycle if in addition to the gonadotropin or the injections you combine that with IVF. Whereas combining it with IUI or insemination or just timed intercourse will still result in a very low pregnancy rate. And one of the reasons IVF has such a higher pregnancy rate is that you can get 15 or even 20 eggs quite safely and fertilize them and most of those eggs aren't going to result in a baby. The majority of human embryos are not normal. They're not viable. So you can pick the embryos that are viable and just transfer those embryos back. And if there are extra viable embryos that would have resulted, say, in too many, uh, like a quintuplet pregnancy, those extra embryos can be frozen and saved for your next pregnancy so that you can safely be assured of having a good high dose of gonadotropin that will give you the highest pregnancy rate, that'll really prepare your eggs the best for being chromosomally normal and viable, and yet you don't have to worry about that multiple pregnancy because embryos can be put back in either one, two, or three of a quantity, and the extra embryos frozen, and that way you'll have embryos that are viable and likely to lead to a pregnancy. So that's why one of the major reasons why IVF uh, is preferred to just staying on gonadotropins over and over and over again for many months and many years.